Who's that people in the window? I see you. Come on in. Welcome to Coke Fortune class where I teach web and digital design. I know you want to learn a little bit more about it. So let's begin. All right. In this pathway, there's, or, there's three courses that will be taught. Intro to digital technology, digital design, and web design. All right. Now let's talk about IDT, which is Intro to Digital Technology. All right, this is the foundation course, and in this course, you as you take this course here, you'll be able to uh, enter the pathway for web and digital communication, programming, advanced programming, information support and services, network system, and plenty more. All right, pathway that we have within this county. Now in this class, we're going to use the Georgia Tech curriculum which is capacity. And in capacity, there are several programs that we're gonna use. And there are HTML, Ear Sketch, App Inventor, and Scratch. Now, I know some of you guys probably like, what are those? If you join my class, you will find out. So let's move on to the second course, which is Digital Design. All right, and this course right here, guys, we're gonna learn how to uh, use digital media application Use elements of text, graphics, animation, sound, video, and digital imaging for various formats. I right, will place emphasis uh, on the use how to be used effective tools for interactive multimedia production, including storyboarding, visual development, project management, digital citizenship, and web processing. All right, you're gonna learn how to create and design websites that incorporate digital media elements to enhance contents of websites now some of you guys probably like oh that's how we do it. no you're going to have access to the adobe creative cloud suite which includes acrobat pro photoshop illustrator indesign premiere pro dreamweaver lightroom after effects animation bridge and, and fireworks and so much more guys flash the whole adobe creative cloud suite is going to be right at your hand guys for you can be creative within this class okay now if that wasn't enough then the third course is going to be web design where we just can strictly focus on developing websites making website look a whole lot more professional all right you guys gonna learn how to work um by yourselves and you also gonna have to learn how to work with teams all right you're gonna have you know because again when you work with those teams you're gonna have to learn how to work with web page layout and graphical elements to create a professional look of website and some of those tools that we uh, you learn in the second level course you're gonna use it here all right you're gonna use it here to where we can be able to create the best website possible and make it look uh, professional not only for yourself but for anybody else who might come in and view your website now i know some of you guys are probably like whoa that's a lot of stuff to take in but guess what if you join my class, you're going to learn all these things, okay? So when it comes time to sign up for your elective, make sure you put down web and digital design because Coach Forson is the one who teaches, and I know you want to be in my class. I will see you guys at the election fair. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. And stay great. I'm Mr. Brombeck and I'm here to introduce you to the Newton High School Engineering Pathway. If you're interested in computers or technology, if you're interested in music and video production, any of the electronic arts, how about programming or coding computers? Maybe robotics is your thing, then engineering just might be for you. You can also participate in the Technology Student Association, where you can learn, compete, and lead. The Engineering Pathway at Newton High School. If engineering and technology is for you, this could be more than a class. It could prepare you for your future.
guys, I didn't see you there. The chickens got out, so I'm gonna be right back after I put them up and, and clean up a little bit, but wait right there. I have a few people that can talk to you real quick. All right, I'll be back. definition of what it means to give back and serve your community. Like all together, me just being an FFA member was probably one of the best things I, I could ever done for myself, short term and long term. A few moments later. Now that I'm all cleaned up, I can talk to you about agriculture and FFA. Thank you to Kira and Parrish for talking about their experience in the class and in FFA, the student organization that's tied to this class. Hey, I'm Miss Walker, the agriculture teacher here at Noon High School. With agriculture, there are four courses that you can take. The classes are listed in the order that they should be taken. Basic agriculture, general horticulture, and your third year, the choice between floor design and nursery landscape. Basic Agriculture is the intro to all things agriculture, where we start off by learning FFA history and how it's tied to our class, as well as team building and leadership skills that you can use throughout your life. Soil Science, where you make edible soil arrangements like this, as well as Plant Science, which helps out the general horticulture class during plant sale season, as well as Animal Science, where we learn about the major livestock animals that are in the agriculture industry, as well as guest speakers that will bring us animals that we may have never seen before in person. And with Ms. Walker's class, you never know what critter is hiding behind the door. General horticulture is the plant science class where you learn everything plants from beginning to end. The students in this class are also the ones who help grow a portion of the plants for our county plant sale. It is great for students to see what they did with their own hands and the community members who are grateful to show up and give support. This class is definitely for those who are ready to roll up their sleeves and get a little dirty. In floral design, students learn everything a florist would do in his or her shop. We do hands-on activities, learning how to make different arrangements for different occasions, and have some designs like this that are made monthly that send out to people in the community that buy them. There are so many hands-on activities that you can learn through this by making floral crowns, bloom towers, and so much more. Nursery Landscape is a class where you will learn the art of landscaping. Anything outside that needs to be landscaped, these kids can do it. You will learn from the beginning, from picking out plants, to pricing, to actually installing a landscape design. So much can be learned from all four of these classes. Now you know a little bit about the agriculture classes that are taught here at Newton High School. All of them are hands-on with the hopes of you not only learning all the things in agriculture, but actually doing hands-on activities that gives you the experience and a little insight on some of the careers that are offered in the agriculture industry. So I hope to see you real soon in ag class. 
Not again. <laughs> This is a wonderful day on what makes learning, kids. A wonderful day on what makes learning. Did you like this one? Who you join? There's a neighborly day on what makes learning, kids. A neighborly day on what makes learning. Would you like to join? Who you join? Imagine leaving school early, going to work to me, sun Though there's some requirements you have to meet, scan the QR code so we can see if you can join with this learning. we here to kids. Please scan the code, the QR code. Please scan the QR code to see. Hello, boys and girls. Understand by scanning the QR code, it doesn't necessarily mean that you will be accepted in Welcome to the World Languages at Newton High School, where you can immerse yourself in the language and culture of Spanish and French. The possibilities are endless. My name is Miss Ammon and I teach Spanish. Hi, please join this pathway um, to experience not only my culture, I'm from Chile, South America, but to experience all the cultures of the Spanish speaking countries. Um, we would love to see you in our classes. 
Hi, I'm Miss Millard and I teach Spanish here at Newton. If you join our pathway, you might be able to take a trip with us one day. For example, I went to Ecuador in the summer of 2018 and I have pictures of it in my classroom. Or you can also join a Spanish club where you can experience more cultures such as trying traditional Hispanic foods like empanadas and tamales. Hi, I'm Mr. O and being bilingual uh, give you a great chance to make more money in the future so you think about learning Spanish. Hi, my name is Coach Goose. We would love to have you here in our French class and uh, we would learn French music together and maybe one day we can virtually take a tour of France. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Siebert and I teach Latin and German at Newton High School. Whatever plans you may have for the future, studying a foreign language is going to increase your options. Come take Latin and German in our online course. Hi, my name is Amita Lee and I'm the theater teacher here at Newton High School. I'm so excited to have the opportunity to work with you and your parents moving forward with Alanis. Um, we participate in a lot of competitions, a lot of fun events here at Newton High School with our theater department which I'm attempting to rename the Ram Players, but it's taken a little longer than I thought. But while we are waiting for that to be successful, I wanna tell you about a couple of things we do. So we participate in the One Act Regional Competition, and if we win that, we go on to state. We put together a 55 minute performance, um, build a set, do costumes, everything, it's great. We also participated in the Schuler Awards last year with our show Cinderella. We will participate in the August Wilson Monologue Competition next year. I'm really excited about that. We do literary. Um, we have many showcases. We're gonna be integrating a lot of monologue performances and festivals and stuff as we move forward, just to make it more a part of the culture of Newton High School. I'm so excited to have the opportunity to work with you and the opportunity to meet you and hopefully direct you and get to work with you on stage. It's gonna be an awesome time. So thank you so much for your interest in this program. Man, I wonder what it would be like to be in the Newton High School band. Do they have concert band? a jazz band. And you know we can't forget about the sound factory. to be in the Newton band. I want to contact Mr. Smith today. You should too.
name is Harris, 12th grade multicultural literature and yearbook journalism teacher here at Newton. So what exactly is yearbook journalism and what will you do in the course? The yearbook course has been designed to provide students with the journalism skills and the ability to, to apply these skills to actual production of the yearbook. The skills include photography, design, and marketing to name a few. The course is open to 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. Yearbook is a fun course, but it requires a lot of hard work. It also requires you to be creative, open to constructive criticism, and open-minded. You will be required to work in class and independently on your assignments. Yearbook students cover everything from NHS sporting events to plays. Being a part of yearbook also looks great on college applications. Yearbook also provides creative experiences. Photography, photoshopping, page layouts, yearbook themes, design ideas. Putting together a yearbook from start to finish is full of tasks that get the creative juices flowing. Provides writing and journalism experience. Writing copy for yearbooks is a lot harder than it might originally appear. When students are forced to use rules of proper attribution, go through an in-depth interviewing process including follow-ups, or are crafting a creative piece, they build upon the fundamentals that they learned in English class. Practice makes perfect, and the more you write, the better you get at it. Teaches crucial life skills, deadlines, deadlines, deadlines. A yearbook staff is never short on deadlines, but even though they sound stressful, deadlines can be very beneficial in helping students learn skills that they will use through school, college, and the rest of their lives. Time management, prioritizing, reliability, and the responsibility of following through on tasks when others are depending on you are just the tip of the iceberg of skills that students learn when working on a yearbook. Hi, my name is Tiana and I'm a part of class 2021. I joined newspaper this year because I wanted to gain a little bit more knowledge about journalism because I am planning on majoring in it this upcoming fall. In newspaper, you will have to do a lot of writing, but it's actually pretty fun. We did a lot of articles, some opinions, some not, and we even did some movie and TV reviews. However, my favorite thing was actually podcasts, um, which is a lot harder than it sounds. And yeah, this class really helps me strengthen my decision to pursue a career in journalism. And I hope you all decide to take this class as an elective because it's actually one of the most interesting classes I have ever had to take. Thank you. In journalism, there are a lot of things you get to do. You get to do podcasts, you get to work with people, you get to do movie reviews, and you get to do opinion articles, and you get to do advice columns, and you work with a teacher that genuinely cares about you. And he can either be your friend or he can be your worst enemy. And there are deadlines that you have to meet because it allows you punctuality and it teaches you about being reliable and it teaches you about being a good source and you learn about becoming a better writer and becoming a better person overall and you have a lot of fun inside the class because there's just so many things that you have the chance to do and it's a really fun class so yeah hi i'm richard and i'm a senior at newton and i think that even if you don't want to be a journalist or haven't really thought about it that you should consider uh be joining newspaper class and i think the reason this is is because this gives you the opportunity to express your opinion on a variety of topics that you normally don't get to talk about in class so in other classes such as your you know your favorite album or your favorite song and all that sort of stuff and it do you do it all in this very unique um like writing style like newspaper writing style which is very quick and it gives it in a very informative fashion This class covers almost all forms of journalism, including making podcasts, writing reviews, photography, and almost everything you need to become a successful journalist. Newspaper will also help you instill the importance of deadlines and to be more time consuming. Overall, this is a class I suggest for about everyone.
Computer science principles is a broad introduction to computer science. It's not about syntax, it's about creativity. They can read and understand how the internet functions. By the time the course is over, they'll have several apps that wouldn't exist if it wasn't for their learning. You can actually understand how instructions are given to the computer. We went from talking about how the internet travels and how computers started to where the first computer bug came from. In actual bugs. Mm. I have people from the basketball team, football team, people in interior design, theater tech people. Somebody takes my class, they're in the band, they want to learn about music, I'll teach it to them on a program that has to do with music. I felt like I was in the studio just making a hit for everyone. This is what I've been waiting for forever. Just showing your flavor, just showing everything through code is just amazing. Being able to press, you know, enter or run and see my world pop up. It's just like painting or drawing. My cursor is your paintbrush. A lot of girls are intimidated because they see computers as like a guy thing. If more girls were like encouraged, then that wouldn't be an issue anymore. You don't even think you're creative. And then you have a cause that makes you see yourself as creative. It kind of feels like a new light has turned on. I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned how like creative I actually could be. Computer science, I feel like, has really helped me with my confidence. The biggest change I see in students is their confidence. This class teaches kids how to think. Computer science can empower. Computer science is a source of making that could lead to that power. My friend and I, we just look at each other and we're like, oh my god, we finally got the code. We have breakthroughs, we make discoveries. Using apps, I kind of think of the behind the scenes aspect, how someone might have built it. A bunch of ones and zeros did that. Coming into that class and seeing I can design my own thing is such a powerful thing. Awesome. Good morning or afternoon, everybody. Whenever you are watching this, I hope you're having a great day. My name is Mr. Foster, and next year we will be teaching a brand new class at Newton High School. It is called AP 2D Photography. It is going to be like Miss Manning's AP 2D Art Design. However, our medium of expression of our art will be through photography. So whether you have a mirrorless camera, a DSLR, or your phone, uh, feel free to join the class. We'll be talking about how to edit your photos. We will be talking about the science behind how to take a photo. What is a good photo? We will be looking at previous famous photographers and what made their photos so special and how we can unlock our creativity through photography. Now, by no means do I consider myself an artist. I'm just a guy who loves photography and has managed to win a, a couple of awards in photography. So we'll share more of that with you whenever you join my class. However, when you do see the choice to pick AP 2D photography, I'll get that name down before the year starts. Don't worry. Uh, I'd be more than happy to have you in our class. Hopefully we're not in my virtual class, as you can see behind me, and we're actually in a real classroom. So we can do some field trips next year. We can head to museums. We can do some city walks. We can do some nature photography. We can actually get outside and, and take some pictures. But with that said, uh, hopefully I see you next year and I uh, can't wait for you to take my class. Bye everybody. Hi, my name is Donna Duke. I teach AP Psychology at Newton High School. And you might be asking yourself, why would we want to study psychology? What can I do with that anyway? Well, there's a lot of questions that we answer in AP Psychology. Questions like, do all psychologists work as therapists? And the answer is no, that psychologists work in many fields from legal counsel to the corporate world to marketing and advertising. Other questions that might be more important to you, such as how can I be a better student by studying psychology? Can you teach a dog, a parrot, and a kid in the same way? And the answer is yes, by the way. Do teenagers think differently from old people? Why? Why do we always give in to peer pressure? Why do adults tell us to eat breakfast and get enough sleep? And more importantly, why are they right? Why is driving while sleepy just as dangerous as driving while drunk? And why does love make us act like crazy people? What does crazy mean anyway? These are some, some of the questions that we answer in psychology, and we hope that you'll join us next year to answer these and many other questions. Thanks, and we'll see you next year. Hey guys, Mr. Ames here. Uh, so this is my video talking to you today about a little bit about uh, what I do in AP government. Uh, and so it, it's a really fun class. Uh, I really enjoy teaching it. Uh, I, I, we we uh, do a lot of discussion, uh, a lot of debate. Uh, so if that's your thing, uh, then, then you would be welcome here. Uh, if you like current issues, things going on in the world, and, and want to do more than just talk about them on the surface level, 
uh, but also kind of get to to the the nitty gritty or the the um, what's inside of these issues, what causes them, uh, what solutions are. Uh, I think AP government might be the class for you. Uh, we, we start out learning about the foundations of American democracy, uh, what kind of philosophies went uh, into deciding um, how America was going to be set up. Uh, we, we go, uh, we debate uh, on those philosophies, which were good, which were bad. Uh, we, we determine whether or not some of those philosophies uh, are applicable today or some should we throw them out. Uh, we then talk about the branches of the government, uh, which is kind of basics. Uh, we go back over the basics of, of the government. We also go a little bit more in depth. Uh, and so uh, especially if you're, you're into the news and you're watching the news, stuff going on, uh, you, you get a little bit more uh, information when, when, when uh, phrases get thrown around. Um, hopefully when we go back over the branches uh, as we go a, bit, a little bit more in depth, things like that will make sense. Uh, we go through civil liberties and civil rights. So we, we talk about what the difference between a civil liberty and a civil right is, uh, and, and we go through not only the history uh, of, of civil rights uh, from, from beginning uh, of the country to, to now, uh, but we talk about what are the basic freedoms we have and, and, and at what length uh, do we go to? Um, and at what length, what, at what point do our rights end uh, and other people's rights begin? Uh, and, and so that, that's end up, this has ended up when we end up uh, starting to have a lot of good debate. Uh, then we go to talk about uh, we break into American political ideologies uh, and beliefs. So we start debating what's a Democrat, what's a Republican, what's right, what's left. Uh, and then we really start. This isn't where we would form our political beliefs, but we, we learn kind of what these terms mean. What does it mean when somebody's libertarian? What does it mean when someone's a leftist or a socialist uh, or something to that effect? So, so we and then finally, uh, we end on political participation. We talk about voting uh, and how important it is and how it looks different everywhere and how every state's got a different plan. Uh, and what it means to, to run a campaign. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll have some fun. We'll have some really good guest speakers. Um, we, we, will, uh, we will do a lot of exploration. We'll, we'll write letters to our congressmen. Uh, we'll do a lot of work uh, that, that um, is, is, I think, pretty relevant. Uh, and I think you'll be able to use a lot uh, in the real world. Uh, and we have a really good time. So if, you, if that sounds good to you, uh, we would love to see you in AP government next year. All right. Thanks.